Uh, welcome to Kevin. Welcome to Kevin Clark. Wow. <laughs> Cut it out. I'm very nope. tired. Welcome to Slow News Day with Kevin Clark. I'm Kevin Clark. We have breaking news. Eminem and Edge from U2 are now the same person. I've never seen Edge and Eminem in the same place because I don't like either of those people. So I've never looked. Lil Uzi Vert is back. Say that one more time. Lil Uzi Vert. This is interesting. They're awfully picky for a country that's been importing Blake Bortles once a year for four years. Wedding. This is a trade deal. They're making deals. They took portals. Look at this. Do you know what this is? What? This is the NFL's first down marker. Napkins? Yeah, they use napkins. The piece of paper was too considered too old school, so they're gonna use napkins. The NFL's catch rule. Here's the problem with the catch rule. The alternative to the catch rule is that many more things are catches. And then what happens then is there are more fumbles which receivers would maybe hate more. It's kind of an unwinnable war for the NFL. Well, I guess you could say ending the touch to the ground is an incompletion. I, uh, Stop falling. The, Stand up while you catch the ball. I'm a Cowboys fan, so take the catch roll. Maybe Des Bryant should have just stood up and caught it. All right, let's bring in our guest. Oh, wow, yeah. what an intro. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Amanda Dobbins, ringer editor, royal wedding enthusiast. I am, yes. Culture connoisseur. If you could take any NFL player and put them, give them an invite to the royal wedding, who would it be? Would it be Carson Wentz? Well, yeah, I mean, this is sad now. We can't even make the jokes. About Carson Wentz? Yeah. He's not dead. That's true. <laughs> I feel a little bad saying that Carson Wentz doesn't really look like Prince Harry. He doesn't. No. no. I could see how they could be related. Maybe cousins. If there's a Venn diagram, you're one of the very few people who are invested in Prince Harry and Carson Wentz. There's yeah, no I'm an Eagles fan by marriage, which is like an extremely important distinction. How much do you know about the Eagles? More than I would like to. You want to give me a pop quiz right now? Go. This uh, is so exciting. Who is the best player in the Eagles defense? I really do. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the, uh, the family circus, Dennis the Menace industry? Because they're pretty bad. I relate to this. Can we just show people what it says? Yeah, we gotta know. Don't you wish you could put this week on fast forward? Is this Me about too. the Pittsburgh Steelers? What is he, what's going on? He has a concussion. Do we know this? <laughs> oh, jeez. What? What is State by State? State by State is the USA Today roundup of just news around the country. No one knows it, what it is or likes it, but Kevin. <laughs> that sounds right. Like the rest of this show. <gasps> Damn. I actually have a theory about why Kevin likes this is because he's from Florida and he's so used to his state being dumped on that this is an opportunity for other states to take yes. the blame. You don't have to feel like that. District of Columbia, a man stripped off his clothes and jumped on a passing vehicle after an accident causing major traffic delays. After an accident. I feel like, I feel like they shouldn't have said it caused major traffic delays. <laughs> In Colorado? Yeah. El Paso County Commissioners have, <laughs> have agreed to allow tiny homes in other corporated areas. Where are you on a tiny home trip? I, I, I'm not. I'm not on it. I'm not on it. Amanda knows what it's going to be, too. Oh, yeah. It's very exciting. What? No tiny home here. It's Mark Rylance playing the king. Rylance, a key contributor to Dunkirk, the greatest movie ever made. Yes. Mark Rylance, congratulations, Cub Kevin. Woo! That's it. I got roasted for saying that Little Drummer Boy was my favorite. Mm. Okay, song back. Earlier. You said it without, uh, like, what's your favorite Christmas song? Little Drummer Boy. What's the issue here? Uh, first of all, which Bowie version? And Crosby. That's Peace on Earth slash Little Drummer Boy. You gotta <laughs> clarify that. So that's your favorite of all Christmas carols? Uh, yeah. Oh, Holy Night's pretty good. You got a preferred singer on that one? Charlotte Church. <laughs> <laughs>